On Earth, volcanoes are most often found where tectonic plates are diverging or converging, and most are found underwater. For example, a mid-oceanic ridge such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge has volcanoes caused by divergent tectonic plates, whereas the Pacific Ring of Fire has volcanoes caused by convergent tectonic plates. Volcanoes can also form where there is stretching and thinning of crust plates such as in the East African Rift and Wells, Grey Clear Water Volcanic Field and Rio Grande Rift in North America. The most common perception of a volcano is of a conical mountain spewing lava and poisonous gases from a crater at its summit. However, this describes just one of the many types of volcano. The features of volcanoes are much more complicated and their structure and behavior depends on a number of factors. Some vol volcanoes have rugged peaks formed by a lava domes rather than a summit crater while others have landscape features such as massive plateaus. The form and style of eruption of a volcano is largely determined by the composition of the lava it erupts, the viscosity, how fluid the lava is and the amount of dissolved gas are the most important characteristics of magma and both are largely determined by the amount of silica in the magma. Magma is rich in silica, is much more viscous than silica poor magma and silica rich magma also tends to contain more dissolved gases. The form and style of an eruption of a volcano is largely de determined by the composition of lava it erupts. The viscosity, how fluid the lava is and the amount of dissolved gas are most important characteristics of magma and both are largely determined by the amount of silica in the magma. Magma rich in silica is much more viscous than silica poor magma and silica rich magma also tends to contain more dissolved gases. Volcanoes are Earth's geologic architects. They have created more than 80% of our planet's surface, laying the foundation that has allowed life to thrive. Their explosive force crafts mountains as well as craters. Lava rivers spread into bleak landscapes. But as time ticks by, the elements break down these volcanic rocks, liberating nutrients from their stony prisons and creating remarkably fertile soils that have allowed civilizations to flourish. There are volcanoes on every continent, even Antarctica. Some 1,500 volcanoes are still considered potentially active around the world today. 161 of those, over 10%, sit within the boundaries of the United States.